Hey, good morning. This is Ogle's Fish Room. I'm trying to get a... Well, he, he's leaving. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to show you my new little... Here he comes again. My new little paquette uh, that I just bought yesterday. Uh, you've seen this tank before. I showed it to you a few days ago, but it didn't have any... I was just setting it up, and it didn't have any rocks or plants or anything. And it didn't have this little guy. I just bought him yesterday. He is a white paquette with... Uh, blue edging if I can catch there he is uh, might be hard for you to see the blue edging but he has blue edging around all his fins he has really gotten used to this tank I tell you in a very short period of time he just got here yesterday morning uh, well about this time yesterday anyway uh, there he is he's a beautiful guy uh, these, uh, I've said this before, the plaquettes are very expensive, especially if they're kind of unique looking like this guy. Let me get a close up here. There we go. I'm hoping you can see the edging around his fins, but that dark edging is kind of blending in with the dark tank. What's interesting about this tank is you're not just seeing sand there. That's actually the top of a rock, so it drops down. In other words, the rocks and the piece of wood here holding uh, the sand. You can see it's quite a bit of sand there. Um, toward the front, and then there are rocks here um, holding each side back to try to, you know, give these plants. See, these are um, crypts. Uh, they're called undulatas. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it grows a little bit bigger. The leaves are a little bit bigger, not as skinny as the... Uh, uh, other crypts uh, this is a little guy I just put in here from one of my other tanks boy I had to take everything out of the <laughs> other tank to catch him but anyway uh, I had just got him a few days ago but I this wasn't set up yet I put him in uh, one of the other tanks uh, and he's not getting not, he's not being aggressive it's just uh, I have some other uh Please forgive me. This I'm trying to catch this guy while he's out. Uh, there he is. There you can see the uh, against the white background. You can see the blue edging on this guy's fins. He's very tiny. Uh, he is probably an inch and a half long. He's not. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would. I'm sorry. I'm staring at. I would say an inch and a half um, no longer this is a two and a half gallon little top fin tank uh, the other fish that you see swimming around crazily uh, just got put in there from another tank and he is a uh, dwarf quarry cat Now he will not get any bigger than this he's probably about uh, three quarters of an inch long where is he there he is I'm hoping he calms down, but uh, the thing I do like about these, I have uh, similar, uh, this is a little stockier, looks a little bit more like a true quarry cat. Where in the world? There he is. He's moving. Um, but he just doesn't get any bigger than this. He stays very small. There's another one called a pygmy quarry. i tell you what, I'll actually show you what they look like. Uh, that little guy in the back and that little guy on the leaf well there there he is this is a pygmy or dwarf I can't remember which. this is a little longer and skinnier uh, there are five in here usually they're right in this corner but they seem to, I kind of cleared everything out trying to catch I took everything out of this thing Trying to catch that little guy. Because uh, he wasn't really... I thought he would just blend in with the others and think they were the same thing, but he didn't. So, um, and I wanted... There's one. Well, there. Yeah, they're constantly moving, but these guys uh, are a little different... Uh, what am I trying to say? Attitude... Uh, the way they swim, they're up on the leaves more. They're up and up around. 
Uh, they, they, they just get around. There they are. There's two in the back there. They just move around constantly. And uh, the strange thing is when I, this guy uh, that's going crazy over here usually doesn't do that. Usually he stays on the bottom, his, his particular type of uh, quarry. Uh, I was going to try to find another one today. I just called all the pet stores. Nobody has any. They seem to be having a hard time getting these. I got him just a few days ago. It just happened to be the last in their tanks from a previous shipment. Um, the thing I like about this tank, I'm trying to show it to you. We've got about 10 shrimp in here, even though you, they don't, they seem to be, well, even the, the cat, uh, spending a lot of time behind this. Uh, this wood is touching the back over here. And there's another piece down here that's uh, kind of holding the sand back. And I don't know if you can see this, but they're kind of separated. Uh, you're looking at the very back in there. That's actually a rock that you're seeing that's got, uh, see if I can show you, there it is. If you look over the top of this piece of wood, well, there's, of course, a shrimp there, but uh, you can see the leaves of the, uh, uh, what you do, uh, darn it, uh, Java fern. Uh, that beta is not in this tank. It's a reflection from the tank to the left. So, uh, but those leaves are from the, I put this in last night. Uh, I glue... I pull leaves, I'm sure I'm repeating myself, but I pull the babies off, uh, um, java fern produces, uh, when the leaf starts to die, it produces babies. Um, and they're small and they have, uh, I wait till the little root system is pretty long. And I pull, you just peel them off, it's not a big deal. And I put them in a, like a little Tupperware container. And uh, let's, let me back off here a little bit more, okay. And uh, I wait till I have enough to where I can glue them with super glue. I use super glue gel. It has to be gel, not the liquidy stuff. It has to say gel on it. Super glue gel. I buy it at the uh, Dollar Tree. It's like a dollar and a quarter for two little containers. Um, and it's perfect for these uses. Now, this, now these crypts. And again, they're called undulatas. Uh, strangely enough, are cheaper. I, I went in yesterday. I was going to buy. They only had one more, but it didn't. When I got to the cash register, it ended up being ten bucks. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is a tiny little plant. I'm not. I mean, it was smaller than these guys, but it ended up being um, something uh, a, a crypt called uh, a wenty, and uh, I think it's spelled W E N D T I I. Strange. Anyway, um, it evidently went up dramatically in price. These guys were five ninety nine, which, in my opinion, is expensive enough. Uh, sometimes I have been lucky in the past. I'll show you this right here. Now, this little one in the corner here was there, but this piece here. And the piece there and the big piece in the back were all in one container for $5.99. And I was able to peel it apart. It did grow dramatically. Now that's a good deal. I don't mind spending the, the $6 if I'm getting that many plants <laughs> out of the deal. But these were, I was not so lucky on these. This is the entire plant and it's not very big. Uh, now it's pretty. I'm happy with it. I'm just making a point here. That these are five ninety nine or six bucks a piece. Now I think they're pretty in here. I'm happy they will grow. Undulata especially will grow quite a bit. I'm trying to catch him in the back. The point I'm trying to make is this piece of wood is about cutting the tank in half, and so there's plenty of swimming room in the back. I did add that as I said, um, Java fern on a rock back there. It's sitting. That's actually the rock that light colored thing that you're seeing through the hole there that's between two pieces of wood uh well it's behind, you're looking through two pieces of wood but uh but it's sitting on that lower piece of wood is what it's doing 
because it wasn't that big, so I wanted it to sit up high. So anyway, there you are. Uh, I'm had made a previous video this morning that uh, showing me turning all my lights on and blah blah blah, and for some weird reason that did not upload. And one of the uh, viewers uh, made a comment and said uh, that it didn't seem to upload properly. So I went in, took a look, and he was absolutely correct. I don't know what I did wrong. But anyway, so I've decided to make this one a lot shorter, <laughs> not bother you so much. This is uh, specifically about this little tank and about the new white uh, placat uh, that I just put in. I mean, excuse me, I just purchased yesterday. The little catfish I just put in this morning. Usually he just stays on the bottom and just looks for food all day long. And that's why I wanted him in there to help with the cleanup crew. I do have about 10 shrimp in here, which they, they, let's see if I can sneak around the corner here. Uh, I'm not sure I can uh, to show you the back side. As you can see, there's a filter back here. There it is, behind the wood. And uh, a lot of the shrimp seem to be on that filter because the uh, sponge sucks up any remnants of uh, food. And they just sit on there and eat it. <laughs> uh, you saw one shrimp swimming around there for a second. Anyway, I don't think. Oh, there's 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 one. There's a couple of guys there. There's pretty big shrimp there, and there's one right there, kind of between the uh, two rocks. And once again, I'm not sure if I'm repeating myself, but uh, this is a one of the rocks that I have glued java fern to. It's in front of the wood, as you can see the leaves there. That other one's in back. Uh, but this one I, I wanted, I just felt that it looked a little too sparse, so I did this last night. Uh, opened one of my containers and took all the little baby uh, java ferns out and glued it to this rock, which I think looks pretty darn good. Uh, it's very gnarly looking. It's been in one of my other tanks for a while, but needed a few more leaves on it and it's sitting perfectly right there on top of that rock and uh, these rocks these colorful rocks are holding the sand back quite a bit and uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, tickled with that there's uh, some shrimpers there anyway okay we're going to call it quits i uh, just wanted to show you my uh the new better i saw him through that crack in the wood just a second ago. Uh, anyway, he seems to spend a lot of time back there. Uh, oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, we are going to let you go. And thank you so much for watching. Damn. I didn't realize uh, I talked that much. I was trying to make it a short video. Okay, well, thanks again. This is Ogles Fish Room signing off. I'm going to end with showing you that please take care of yourselves have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching bye bye